16 skaters, one goal, and three minutes to prove it. For those who've never seen synchronized skating. It's kind of like synchronized swimming. It's the only team discipline in figure skating. Precision and perfection take practice. Getting all the girls on the same foot at the same time with the same expression and the same arm movement. All right, let's go from the beginning. The Fond du Lac Blades are Wisconsin's premier synchro team, attracting skaters from Green Bay, Madison, and Milwaukee. Macy Banya commutes three times a week from Green Bay in all kinds of weather. That's not including extra practices, which happen quite frequently. <laughs> it's very challenging, and most of the time I do homework in the car because it can be a difficulty to keep up with school. For these athletes, the teams become a second family. And for one skater, the coach is family. My mom, she's the coach. Molly, watch that you don't get ahead on the first twizzle right off the gate. For us, it has just worked. It has very much clicked. Jenny McMahon and Heather Poggle share coaching duties. Both have been around the blades for more than 30 years. I actually started on the very first synchronized skating team that we had. Back then, it was called Precision. It was up to 32 skaters, and it was very different from what we do now. The speed has increased, the difficulty has increased, and it's amazing the things between the jumps and the lifts that the skaters are doing. The difficulty had to change for the Fondi blades to remain on the cutting edge and competitive with the world's best. We get to compete at the Zagreb Snowflakes Trophy. We're going to Croatia as Team USA and it's a privilege that not many skaters get to experience through figure skating. Last minute improvements to their routine caught the judges' attention in Fond du Lac. proud of the short program. We did a great job bringing the score up today. One performance down, one more to go. The hours of practice are paying off. On this day, the team posts its highest score to date, putting them in good shape before their international competition in Croatia. It was a big breakthrough for us and our team. I felt really good and I was doing all my arms to the max and expressing. I was just having a really good time out there. I'm really excited for them to head overseas and see what we can do in Croatia. Travel time is also bonding time and the Blades take Croatia by storm best friends and I just have so much fun traveling with them. Team bonding is really important and getting all of the skaters to click. All the girls are like a family to me. I love it. USA! 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 It's amazing to hear the words representing the United States of America. And in fact, I get choked up. I get choked up when we're there and we hear it. Representing the United States of America, Paul Dilak plays. Now it's time for Jenny to play the role of both coach and proud parent. 
there's a little bit of stress where you're just like, you take a deep breath and go, okay, I hope we've given them all the tools we possibly can to have them look great. Oh my gosh, I think every parent's just like, please don't fall down. <laughs> Nervous Parents, American Flags, and Home Video provide memories of a lifetime. We competed against teams from Hungary, Croatia, Italy, Finland, Russia, and another United States team. We ended up third, so we're really excited that we came home with a bronze medal. Home to Fond du Lac, where the Blades represent Wisconsin on the world stage is to do your very best and do your best for your country. I think uh, synchronized skating has allowed them to have an opportunity that most kids will never get. Happy Jack, you